Today, I will show you how to make this cool text reveal intro animation in Blender. You can apply this material to any logo or object. So, let's get started. Press A, X, to delete everything. Press Shift, A, add text. Go to edit mode, and rename it. Click here, and change your font. You can change this to thumbnail view, to preview your fonts. I will select a font I downloaded from davfont.com. Go to geometry, and extrude it a little bit. Give it a nice bevel on the edges. You can change your character spacing if you are wishing to. Let's start shading. Go to the shading tab. Add a new material to the text. Change this node to emission. And add a transparent node, and a mix shader. Connect this to the bottom socket. In the settings drop down, change blend mode and shadow mode to alpha clip. Add a noise texture, and connect factor to the factor. Before continuing, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and make sure the node wrangler add-on is enabled. Select the noise texture, and press, Ctrl, T. Connect the object to the vector. Reduce the scale and increase the detail of the noise texture. Increase the emission strength to 200. Now, select the mix shader and press, Shift D, to duplicate and place it here. Select the nodes, and move these away for some space here. Add a color ramp here. Change linear to constant. And, Shift D, to duplicate it here. Connect the noise texture to these color ramps. Connect it to the mix shader. Connect this to the bottom. And add in a principal BSDF node. Connect this to the mix shader. Change this white to the color of your wish. Change the top color ramp's white value to 0.5. And change this value to more than 0.5. Remember, the second color ramp's white value should be always more than the first color ramp's value to get these emissive edges. Here. I increased it by 0.005. Let's add HDRI to our scene. Click here, and change this to environment texture, and click open to select your HDRI. Switch to rendered view, and under the film, check the transparent box. Make sure ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are turned on. Select the text, and change these to center. Press Shift, A, and add a plane. Click New Material, and add a Musgrave texture, and a color ramp. Connect these guys together. Change the scale to 8, turn the detail up, and dimension down.
Make it metallic. And change this black to a nice gray. Now, add a bump node. And a Voronoi texture. Connect the distance to the height. Add a color ramp in between them. Reduce the randomness to zero. Flip the color ramp. Increase the scale to 80. And move the black near to the white. Reduce the strength a little bit. Press, Shift, D, and move it to the top of the first plane. Go to Edit Mode, select every vertices, and press right click or W to subdivide it many times. Go back to the object mode, and give a new material to this plane. Go to modifiers and add a wireframe modifier. Reduce the thickness. Remove the HDRI. And reduce the strengthness to zero. Add in a cube, and scale it up. Change the viewport display to wire. Click new material. And remove the principled BSDF. Select the volume, and give principled volume for the fog. Reduce the density to 0.1. Add in an area lamp, and go to side view. Press. R, to rotate, and increase the power to 50. Change it to a blue color. Press, Shift D, and move it to the other side. Rotate it. Press the Z button here to go to the top view. Press, Shift, A, and add our camera. Press Ctrl, Alt, 0 to snap the camera to the view. Change the XY location to 0. Oh, forgot to change this area light to red. Select this plane. And reduce the thickness to 0 0.002. Now we can start animating the text shader. Move your mouse to a corner of this viewport. When your cursor changes to a cross, drag up to open another viewport. Change this viewport to timeline. Select the text. We should keyframe these nodes in a way that, this value always greater than the first. So, position this to 0 0.005, make sure your timeline is in the first frame, and press I, while your mouse cursor is above the position box of the node. This will add a keyframe in the first frame. Go to the last frame, and type 0 0.995 in the position, and press I, while your mouse cursor is above it. Now, animate the other color ramp. Go to the first frame, make sure the white color is selected, and type in 0 0.001 and press I. Now, go to the last frame, and type 0 0.991. And now, the reveal animation is finished. To add more detail to the text, 
add a musgrave texture and connect it to the roughness. Increase the detail and decrease the dimension. Add in a color ramp. and make it metallic 0.5 Connect the mapping node to the musgrave texture If you want to add a reroute to this connection, hold shift and drag by right mouse clicking Press G to change its position Select the wireframe, make it metallic and give it a roughness of 0.2 or 3 Increase the thickness to 0.005 Press Ctrl S to save your file Now, the animation is so fast To make it slow, select the text, and select the animated node, make sure your mouse cursor is on the timeline, and press S, and press 2. Repeat this action to the other node. Make sure their keyframes are in the same place. If you want to reduce your render time, or you have a low-end PC, go to the very first frame, where the animation starts, and type start value to that number. In my case, it is 95 to 250. Click here, and press the folder icon to select your output directory. Add a new folder by clicking here, and open this folder. Click Accept. Leave the file format as PNG. And click Render and render your animation. After you have rendered it, got to the first frame. And click Render Image. Now, the first frame is rendered individually. Click Image, Save As. Give it a name. And press Enter. Then, Go to the other end of the timeline and click render image and save it as you did it before. Then close it. And a quick tip for you if you want to see seconds instead of frames, click view and show seconds. This will show seconds with frames. Back to the topic, click the plus icon here video editing, video editing. Drag the timeline up. and change the start frame to 1. Go to the very first frame, add, image slash sequence, and select the first frame. Then, select the frame, and in the time drop down, adjust the end to your wish. I will adjust it to 24 frames. Then, Go to the end of the strip. Click add, image slash sequence, and open the folder where you had rendered the animation. Press A to select them all, and click add image strip. Then, follow the steps I told you before and add the last frame. Adjust the last frame next to this movie strip, and adjust its time. Change file format to FFmpeg video and change quality to MPEG4. Change output quality to perceptually lossless. And render it. So, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Don't forget to like the video and suggest the next video in the comments section.